This is how I check my end gap. I have a magnetic dial gauge. In my opinion, this is the easiest way to check end gap, but you can also do it with feeler gauges. I'm gonna push with the screwdriver all the way back. And then I'm gonna get this thing zeroed out, and I actually do have it. It is zeroed out right now. Then I'm going to push it the other way. So I'm gonna push it out, pry it this way, push it out. And I'm gonna look back at my gauge. 4,007 inch, uh, which is definitely within spec. Um, this, this amp, the end play on this is between two and seven. So we're right in there. I'm really happy with that actually. Everything's torqued, correct lubrication in there. And I got my um, rear seal in. So this thing should be ready to go.